Hey guys, well they're all serious, but this is a very serious message, okay? The eyes of the Lord. What's he see? They're everywhere, every place. And it's just time, guys, to choose whom you're going to serve. Because it is a rubber meets the road message, guys. You know, this is not political. You don't think God could get into the White House, to the cage we built around it? We haven't, but you don't think he sees all the mess that's going on, the evilness in people's hearts? But it's in the church, too, guys. What are we hiding? Or are we abiding in him and on the shadow of the Almighty? Well, I just recently went through and still, still in the midst of it. I got saved 40 years ago, guys. Been a long journey. And I didn't think that I still had some pride in my heart. And it turned into sin. It was sin to begin with, but it just manifested. A little humbling. It's a whole other message, but Thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but took on the form of a servant even unto death. Humbled himself. And he was the king. Didn't have to, guys. Did it for us. <clears throat> so, it's time. Got some scriptures here for you, and I'm just going to give them to you. One of the, well, they're all good, but uh, 1 Peter 3, 12. Talks about the eyes are upon the righteous, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. But he also sees the evil. Man, guys, back in the Garden of Eden, Adam, where are you? You don't think God knew where they were? You don't think he knows what's in your heart? That's what he says. He said, man looks on the outside, but God looks on the heart. He already knows. He knows the beginning from the end. He's the Alpha and the Omega. So it's time to clean house, not the White House, our own house. That's one of my messages. Look it up, please. We can't make it if we don't choose the right path. We just can't, we're not going to. I'm not the doom and gloom guy, I'm telling you gospel of Jesus. We've got to repent and turn from our wicked ways as a nation. This one's free. I get these, I get not all of them, some of them are throughout the day. I talk to the Lord all the time, guys. Every chance I get. It's who I am. Five in the morning is one of my best times. Early, early, early in the morning. It's quiet. The only distraction is my little dog. Sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes she stays in bed with my wife. Sometimes she gets up. Wants to be petted and scratched and attention. But other than that, I don't have to turn on YouTube, Facebook, eBay. I can make the choice, not use my phone, just talk to God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, and read his word. Choice time, guys. That's what I'm seeing. People are going to be they're going to the good or to the evil. There's no more. It's separating time, guys. That's why I said this is the rubber meets the road. That's where I get these. A lot of these. This is the, just as important as a rest. Quit hiding. But the rest of it, <clears throat> 5 a.m., a time to weep and pray as a nation. Because, guys, it's not who we voted for. I know it's not going to go over real well. Doesn't matter. It's who we pray for. That's the part of politics we need to get involved in, not the 
Yes, I get it. But it's a no, pretty much. It's the prayer piece. But if you want to be involved in it, that that's okay too, because I'm not going to tell you what God's telling you to do. As long as you birthed it in prayer first. So 5 a.m. is very, very important because I got that in prayer early one morning. It's, it's a message. He said, tell the nation to weep and pray as a nation. Guys, all you have to do is look around, but it's been going on for this for a long time, okay? We want to bark about the administration and the people in charge, and there's people in nefarious places hiding. There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on in that. You know the truth. We all do. Some of us are scared to say it or scared to see it or run from it in fear. God sees all that, guys. But we can get it in prayer, supplication. We're not going to be a nation if we don't change our ways. Look around, guys. Two years ago, who would have thought of any of this garbage? Now, they're beating you to death with passports on a plane, to get hamburger, to, I mean, our freedom's been stripped pretty good. Guys, go anywhere. Everybody's got a mask stuck on their face. I don't, but, and there's others that don't. But the vast majority are scared, running, hiding, fearful of a disease. Plenty of them, guys. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm not, I'm not knocking the people that really were affected by this and really got hurt and really actually died from it. That's tragic, but you know what? It's appointed for a man who wants to die. That's just gonna, it's, it's coming your way and my way. And the day and time, you can't do anything about it. But you can trust God. Jesus, the Holy Ghost and the Word. <clears throat> you're not going to trust Him if you don't get it in prayer. You're not listening. Because the eyes of the Lord are everywhere. So what do you got hidden? Man, in, the, in, the, under, in David's time, he's walking through. The Lord told him there's sin in the camp. And he hears that. Goes to the tent. They got gold and silver and Bounty that they looted from the place and God had told them not to take anything. What happened to those people? What happened to Ananias and Sapphira? We're under grace, yes. A whole different dispensation because Jesus came. He died for us, for our sins. But he didn't die to stay, that we stay in it our whole life. And at the end, everybody thinks they can just change and poof, magic dragon. Sorry to say it like that, but and suddenly you're going to walk into heaven. Everybody's got this mindset that everybody's up there. You are if you chose. You are if, you're, if, you're, if you've got sin in your life, dump it. Run from it. Flee from the very appearance of evil. Some we know are there, and we still do it. Some we're ignorant to it. Some we don't even want to see those dark places. That's another one of my messages. You don't want, don't want our wealth and fame, but he wants our guilt and shame. What? He wants our guilt and shame so he can set us free. The enemy can't have that as a hook to keep us down, discouraged, and depressed, and headed for, headed for hell. I'm sorry to tell you that, guys. It's just time for the preaching of the gospel. And I don't care if you're a pastor or not. It doesn't matter. If you're still called of God, you're called to minister to people. Quit this label business. Pride of life and the lust of the flesh. This one's free, guys, okay? I am going to put this message out. I'm just not sure when. In prayer. 
Which one is it? That one on the that one right there. The prayer chair. Got a specific reason for that. View and everything. But Lord spoke to me, he said, and I'm not degrading the people of this country, so forgive me, but on that piece. But he said that America has more idols than India. I mean, uh, they kind of worship cow manure. To put it bluntly, you know. Prideful, boastful people without God. We're just like this Shazam moment and we're just surreal and okay, great, awesome. Look around, guys. One virus wiped us out. We weren't there on our knees in prayer and supplication and talking to the Lord. I can say that with authority and boldness because I was praying all the time and talking to the Lord. And I asked him that. I said, Lord, how did I miss this pride that was stuck in my heart? long story and one day I'll share it with you right now no because I'm still kind of reeling from it honestly but it's like okay Lord so I told my wife I told others I'm not looking for God to intervene as much as I am for his direction I just want direction I want to bail out get out free get out of jail free card I don't want any of that I did I used to to think I needed all that. <clears throat> I just want his direction. I really kind of screwed this up. Some things. Share them with you later once, you know, the Lord, the dust starts settling a little bit more. And I can. It's not that I want to hide anything. I don't. I just have to finish the course in this. Pray for me because I really need some direction in it, but I'm praying for you too. But we all need direction, and the direction is to the cross. Back to the cross, but not to the cross, through the cross. Take it for what it really is our salvation. There's no other name under this given under the sun whereby men might be saved. Guys, there's so much to this. Love you. Get rid of the sin. Whatever it is, whatever idol it is, if we've got that many idols, man, we got we got issues and problems, and we wonder why. But the world is like that. The world turned upside down. One of ours, this isn't going to go real well either. And but you know, it's the truth. The Babylon that people claim, some claim that we are. It is an empire built upon the lust of the flesh and the pride of life because money is the top of the pinnacle of that one, guys. Oh yeah, we're such a great godly nation and God we trust. Look at the dollar bill, guys. Look at the symbols on it. Pretty weird stuff. Statue of Liberty, pretty weird. Demonic, guys, a lot of that. It's one of the idols. We idolize death. If we don't, we say, you know, we're helping people. And yeah, we do. We, we help a lot of people across the country, across the land, across the world. But if they don't agree with us and we decide we want to do it, sometimes we just go in and bomb the place. I gave away a mattress to a, a Muslim guy. And we were just talking because I want to hear what he has to say. And he said, imagine if, if we're, we're standing here right now and bombs just started dropping. And then you hear from some country that's far off. Oh, yeah, we did it. Guys. We're lost as a goose in high grass without Jesus. Love you. It's time to change and repent. We're going to be a captive nation. We already pretty much are. 
but not totally yet. But it's headed that way. The land we live in, because we let sin profess. I want to do want to end with this, okay? A lot of people, me too included, because I don't like it, because I don't like what they're doing. A lot of these, especially the biggest one, but a lot of them, the mega churches, it's all about the giving and the money so that they can get more money and have more nicer stuff and things. And it's an idol. Sorry. But the biggest one, one of the biggest ones, you'll probably figure it out. It, it has 60,000 members. Well, they're doing the same thing. They want to latch on to what this guy's doing. Because they think God's a big ATM. And if I stick a $100 bill, I'm going to get 1000 So if I give 1000 I'm going to get, what, whatever it is, 10000 If I give 10000 I'm going to get 100000 I'm going to get a new house, car, land, possessions, things. God is not your personal ATM. He's your provider. And a good one. But it's got to be his way. That that's that was where I'll, I'll end with this. That's where part of my pride got in. I was in his will, perfect will in some respects, but out of his perfect will, because I was doing it Stevie's way. In the flesh, got the pride of life. I'm like, look what God's doing. There were some pretty awesome things that he did. But I wasn't I wasn't lifting him up. I was promoting myself. Ouch. Love you guys. We have got to turn to him. We've got to turn away. We've got to humble ourselves. It's the opposite of pride, the humility. And it's not, you know, I'm a dirt ball scumbag piece of dirt. Humility, that's false humility, honestly, guys. It's knowing who we are. Jesus did. He was the king of kings. He was sitting with God at the right hand. He knew. I used to hear this one preacher, I know that I know that I know that I know. He knew who he was, but yet he was obedient to his father, God, because he knew what the end was gonna be. We gotta know who we are, guys, in Christ. We gotta be humble and do his perfect will. Not, not his permissive will, not our will, his will. We gotta turn, guys. <clears throat> or, or like I said, Israel, I mean, became a captive nation more than once. Because of disobedience and sin isn't going to work anymore guys it's not going to fly this is the rubber meets the road it's time to turn you better be telling people that you better do it yourself so what are you hiding love you quit hiding and start abiding in the shadow of the almighty pray through this get on your knees god what is really going on i need some direction love you guys Talk to you soon.